Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven Mayu, and in this video series, I'm going to walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. Uh, this is my first project in this series, so let's jump right into it, and let's see the, uh, let's see the uh, cool stuff we're going to be building. Uh, so, got opened here the FreeCodeCamp map, and this is part of um, the projects I'm going to work through you in, these series, in this series, is part of the uh, data visualization certification. And uh, in order to get that, you have to uh, complete five React projects and another uh, five projects using D3. And that's a JavaScript library for generating some really cool uh, visual graphs and charts and all sorts of stuff like that. We're not going to touch uh, any D3 for a while um, in this series. I want to tackle and do uh, all five of these React projects. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, the first one is a uh, you know, straightforward. It's not too complex, but um, using React is a, a kind of a you know a new paradigm. Um, we're going to use some of the new JavaScript syntax, ES6. So relatively, you know, straightforward and not complex. But we're going to be learning a lot of stuff for this first project, and it is called the Build a Markdown Previewer. So let's take a look at the um, Let's take a look at some of the uh, you know requirements we need for this, uh, and then I'll show you an example of mine. So um, as usual, uh, Free Code Camp they don't want you to look at the example code, and they want you to figure it out yourself. Um, of course, you know my video series. Uh, you, you know you're watching me code and build these things, but uh, I'm just showing you my thought process and how I would approach this. Um, you know, particular problem. Uh, certainly watch it, you know, I hope you enjoy it and learn a lot, uh, but don't, you know, copy and paste what I'm coding um, without really understanding what's happening, uh, because you're not going to develop um, as a programmer, you're not going to improve as a programmer um, if you're just copying and pasting without really understanding what's going on. So, um, so anyway, um, that's that's the first rule. Um, we have to use also SAS and React. Uh, so React, that's like the meat and potatoes of this course. SAS is a preprocessor for CSS. It's a it's a it's a more concise way to write CSS, and it gets compiled to regular CSS. So we'll do that just like a little bit to fulfill the uh, the requirements for this uh, project, but I'm not going to teach you CSS. In fact, um, I kind of suck at CSS. I'm not really good at styling things. So the SAS component of this, uh, of this series, I'm going to keep to a minimum because I want to show you some cool React stuff. All right, so what are the user stories? What are the requirements for this project? Uh, okay, number one, I can type GitHub flavored markdown into a text area. Okay, uh, so we know what a text area is. It's just this like text box where we can type into. Uh, what is GitHub flavored markdown? Well, Anytime you go to GitHub and you see somebody's um, you know, readme file, it's usually at the bottom um, where uh, it's usually at the bottom uh, of the repo and it gives like you know documentation and, and, and tips on how to use some open soft, uh, open source software. Um, well people write and style their readme files using the so-called GitHub flavored markdown and it's pretty cool. Um, for example, if you write hash and then some text after it, you get an H1 header. And subsequently, if you write two hashes or three hashes and so on, uh, that's how you can produce um, headers in this markdown language. Instead of, you know, writing the, uh, uh, the, the brackets and then H1 and then a closing bracket, it's not like that. Uh, so anyway, you can Google this. It gives you all the syntax for it, and it's very useful. It's a good skill to know, um, you know, anyway, because, uh, you know, you should be using GitHub and uh, writing good docs um, using this markdown language. So that's the first requirement. I can type into a text area, and I can type GitHub flavored markdown. And the second and last user story is... I can see a preview of the output that uh, that is updated as I type. 
Okay, so um, so anyway, let's uh, do a test here. So I'm going to do um, you know the hash, and I'm going to say hello. And you can see it on the right side of the screen. You can see it um, like update automatically as I type. And if I do another one, uh, how are you? And uh, I can bold my words as well. You are, uh, let's see, I don't know. You are such, and it becomes italicized. You're such a good developer. All right, that seems sort of sarcastic, but, but anyway, you get the idea. I can type in my markdown right here in the text area, and then boom, automatically it uh, gets parsed into regular HTML, and it gets displayed on this side. So um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the development environment in the next video, um, but right now, um, yeah, let's just stop it right here. And uh, in the next video, I'll talk about the different options for developing your environment, your dev environment for developing React applications, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Boop.